All right, welcome to my channel, everybody. And to this video, we are solving the problem of a broken windshield wiper today. One wiper is not working randomly. Came out one morning, and this is what is happening. So what's up with that? I don't know exactly. So let's go ahead and troubleshoot. Now, uh, when I kind of move this with my arm, the dead one, so to speak, uh, I notice it's kind of floppy, indicating obviously not working, but also there seems to be some type of motor activity. I'm obviously nudging it with my hand there. It's maybe hard for you to see. Uh, let me bend this upward a little bit and you can get an idea. There it is moving a little bit. That's not my hand moving it. That is the motor operating. So I suspect that something's going on. Um, nothing. This is, I think, good news for me. I don't think I need to replace the little motor for the windshield wipers. Uh, maybe the splines are stripped out. There's clear, clearly something happening here that's not giving it a great bite. There it is, again, moving ever so slightly. So we're going to take a look under the cap. I have a flathead screwdriver that I will use to remove this little cap uh, that will show this little uh, nut and bolt right there. And that will basically, if you loosen that up, oh, look at that. I'm noticing that's actually loose. So I suspect that that is indeed the problem. I don't think any splines are stripped out or anything more serious than that. So let's test that theory out and tighten this up. I have a 14 millimeter socket and I'm just hand tightening that. At some point it had backed off, maybe after the winter months of maybe ice being on the windshield wiper, slowly started to back off a little bit. Now you could put a little super glue on there, just a dab, just to make sure it doesn't back off. Not too much, you don't wanna permanently attach that nut to the bolt. There we go, fired up and it is moving as indicated. Now we're not done yet though, because we have to adjust these to the correct position. And while I'm under the hood, so to speak, I am going to adjust both of them and make sure both of them are indeed where they should be. You can see this one is has, has kind of fallen down. It needs to be on that uh, orange, those orange lines. So before I tighten it down completely, that nut, I'm gonna adjust it manually and make sure it's in the correct position and then I can torque it down. Just hand tighten, I'm not gonna over tighten it or anything like that and that should do it. Obviously you saw me lift up the hood that might provide you better access to these nuts as opposed to having the, the, uh, the, the hood closed. So that would be a nice little tip. And again, hand tighten those and that should solve the problem. If it does not, then you might have to go a little deeper, search other YouTube videos. You might have a stripped out, some stripped out splines, or obviously more seriously, you'll need to replace the uh, wiper arm or maybe the motor for it. So let's go ahead and with everything back, let's go ahead and test it out. There we go. It is indeed biting perfectly operational, just like before. Great news. And don't forget to replace those caps that you took off earlier. They just kind of uh, snap back on. Literally couldn't be an easier job. Obviously your situation may be different. You may have a more serious problem, uh, but this indeed worked for me, which really never happens. <laughs> Three minutes or less, right? Amazing. Anyway, hopefully this has helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more do-it-yourself fixes and videos and also home product reviews. Thanks.